the most important uh, part of a fellow's training is the hands-on experience. Um, you can't learn everything from a book. You have to physically cut the heart in order to know where things are when studying it. You can't cut an actual person's heart every single time to learn what's inside. The VR setting allows us to do that um, repeatedly um, with precision, which we really haven't been able to do uh, with other modalities. The human heart, as we know, is a very complex structure, and this technology has certainly allowed me <clears throat> and can certainly allow others to gain a better understanding of cardiac structures and our anatomical location by way of finite manipulation, meaning we have the ability to maneuver and enhance images which will allow us and provide us a better understanding of spatial relationships of these anatomical structures. The nice thing about the VR is we can dissect the same heart repeatedly, um, resetting it back to where it was when we started, uh, which really allows that fellow to gain a level of expertise and experience much more quickly than they would without it. I am gaining exceedingly valuable information with regard to the intricacies of cardiac anatomy both on the surface and within. Using the controls, it allows one to be the probe um, in terms of uh, getting the correct slices which can be um, correlated back to the echo slices that we get in the operating room when doing transesophageal echo. As I continue my training, these resources have proved to be invaluable. My knowledge and understanding of cardiac anatomy and imaging has greatly improved by using this hands-on technology. Um, I thoroughly believe that utilizing these resources now and in the future can certainly help myself and others um, provide better patient care. It doesn't matter what level of training you are, um, when you get your hands on this uh, equipment, this technology, you, anyone can gain something uh, from practicing with it.